Hi there, this is Leanna with Tip B, and we are going to take a look at PCalc. PCalc was originally an iPhone application, and it updated with the universal binaries to work nicely with both iPhone and iPad. Um, so you buy it once, and you get the interface for both platforms. Um, PCalc is an RPN calculator, which um, is great for scientists and engineers and programmers and I think accountants. Um, I personally don't like RPN calculators at all. So fortunately PCalc has an option to turn the RPN mode off. So if I turn it on, pay attention in this region and you'll see my buttons change. Because if you're familiar with RPN calculators, parentheses are completely unnecessary so they disappear. So that's nice. Um, again, I don't like it, so I'm turning it off. Um, we have an option to be able to store multiple memories. Um, I don't really know why you would turn it off. If you're not going to store memories, you just don't store them. But if you don't even want to accidentally do it, we can turn that off. Um, here's the fun parts. We can change our themes. So I can change what my calculator looks like based on what I find aesthetically pleasing. So this is kind of cool. Um, this one, I believe, is the one that comes when you first download the app. Don't hold me to it, though. My favorite is the touch of color one. I like things that are colorful. Um, we can also change how our digits look. LCD is how it comes standard, which is your classic calculator look. We can go pixel, sharp, strong, and the top one was easier to read. Weird name, but whatever. Um, we can change our display. So let's say I don't like having this many memories showing, I can reduce that. Or if I know I'm not going to be using enemy memories, I can completely get rid of them. Um, and as you saw, my buttons grew bigger, so that could be a nice if you want big buttons. And then I can control what's in these lines. I have them set to have um, 0, 1, and 2 memory storages, um, but you can also pick whatever you want. So that customization is also very convenient. And I can change the colors. I'll leave it on red. Why not? Um... We can change the key click sounds. Here's our advanced settings. I won't go through all of them, but you can take a peek. Um, next we have our constants with an icon that says 42. I like it. Um, the top one is the, most, the constant I most recently used. And then I've got all my categories down here, so astronomical, atomic, electromagnetic, mathematical, my favorite, um, physiochemical, physicochemical, <laughs> I don't know how to say that word, and universal. And there's the ultimate answer, 42. Um, this up here is conversions, so let's actually do one. Let's convert 65 mile, miles per hour into kilometers per hour. So we're going to do 65. Miles per hour is a speed, so that's right here. Here's miles per hour. And right here, I can actually glance at what it is. And then let's say I actually want to use kilometers per hour in a calculation. I can tap that, and there we go. It's 104.6 kilometers per hour. Um, we've got all of the conversions that would be necessary in the sciences. And we've also got a few extras, like cooking. That's kind of nice. Um, and currency. This one actually, whoops, has a lot. So I can convert between currencies, which can be very convenient, especially if you travel or use foreign currency. 
Um, next up we have our tape, which basically just shows our history since the last time that we did a memory clear or that we cleared our tape. If I tap this, I can copy, email, clear the tape. Cancel. And this one shows our register, so what it, everything is stored um, for a quick glance. To undo, I can swipe to the left. So there's the 65 I had done. There's that. Swapping to the right brings it back. I could also tap up here. Um, the help section has a nice tricks and tips, which um, is great to read when you first download the app. It kind of teaches you how to how to use the application. And I think that pretty much covers it. Um, I guess I can do a few examples of actually using the calculator. Um, so I, in my memories here, in memory 0 I've got pi, in memory 1 I've got e, and in memory 2 I actually have their addition. But let's see how I got the addition. It's pretty easy to recall these memories. So I want to recall, so I hit MRE, which basically stands for memory recall. Um, I want to do 0, which was pi, plus memory call 1 which is e equals and there's them there's their sum and then I had stored it up there on the top to store it um, let's actually store a different number so you can see it change let's go ahead and store 42 then I hit M plus and I can pick where I want it stored I want to pick it in 2 oh it actually added 2 to that one. So that was not what I was expecting. <laughs> um, let me try that again. Let's store, let's try storing 42. I think it's this one. Memory N2. There we go. Started into M2. Um, let's see. Over here, I can convert 42, let's say, into binary. And it actually converted everything into binary. Um, and my calculator changes nicely for doing binary operate um, calculations, hexadecimal, um, decimal is just your normal stuff. If I hit second, I can see my hyperbolic trig functions. Um, let's see what else changed. Pretty much it, and then these changed. I actually don't even know what those are. Um, I can change from degrees to radians. I'll leave it on radians. So there you go. That is P calc.